basically Darren's concept for it was let's get the 30, 40 dancers that we have access to now and just throw them in a room and have them do what they would do in this situation. Do rehearsal, um, practice, and we'll just stage the scene around it. And he spent the day shooting it that way um, with two cameras and just did it over and over and over again. And I forget what the actual amount was, but it was something like six or seven hours of footage for that scene. And then there were all those mirrors. <laughs> right, and then there were the mirrors, so that you would love a piece and there was the other camera. So, or your own camera, and then you couldn't use it, or you had to clean it out, or whatever, but it was a maze. And then you said to Aronofsky, and, you said, so how do you... Yes, I asked him what, I rarely do, but in that case, I asked him if he had any directive or ideas for it and, and how to approach it, and he said, good luck. <laughs> we all know the story. Virginal girl, pure and sweet, trapped in the body of a swan. She desires freedom, but only true love can break the spell. I insisted to Darren that he, we have to sit through the footage and watch it all together before I cut it because um, for me to try and second guess what in the seven hours was his favorite moment would just be ridiculous because it was literally a maze trying to track where Vincent was in this cycle um, from take to take would be different every time which for the de direction the dancers were facing was different every time and there was nowhere to hide because of the mirrors. So I had to know what his favorite moments were and kind of build the scene around those moments or else I would easily spend a day on a dead end that he didn't like. Um, so we watched it all and he gave me his impressions and moments and he was probably as overwhelmed by all of it as I was. Um, and then I sat down with it and somewhere in the process I realized we had a lot of coverage following Vincent and. Um, leading Vincent and all these kind of crazy, cool-looking mirror angles, all this stuff, and I realized that the only shots that mattered were the shots that were from Nina's point of view. So the, the answer always was how to make this Nina's experience. And what's interesting is that there are some times when you almost feel she can't see everything, but she's trying. Right. Like, she can't quite see over her shoulder what, what is he doing, what are the other dancers doing, what's her rival, Myla Kunis, doing. If it is a descent into madness, obviously, the, the trick in that was to, to keep escalating her unraveling in a way that, that felt logical and, and made sure that each time some new, worse information was introduced, um, from her point of view, or a new obstacle for her, that she reacted more and more uh, violently to it, or was more and more unnerved, and just calibrating these scenes against each other to make sure that that progression felt right, um, and that you could identify with her point of view on it.